Here's how Big Chunga spent her day in the van, part 29. She woke up before the sun was even up, and guess what? Biscuits are back. She took a little bit of a sabbatical the past few months, but obviously it was well-deserved. Even though she started her day early, she did not agree with the decision to start driving early. But once she saw our destination, her mood immediately changed. She took a few moments to figure out what exactly she was looking at, and then prepared her pause for exploration. Today she started with a very thorough inspection of the van. She really channeled her inner mechanic as she checked nearly every part. Once she felt her job there was complete, it was time to casually start stroll along the salted ground, though she did not appreciate the sound of my shoes crunching on the ground next to her. The crinkle of the tree bag reminded her it was time to come inside for a snack and to lick some string, and then back outside to appreciate the beauty of a dried up lake. It is in this moment that you can see her make the most difficult decision of the day, to stay out and continue exploring or to come inside for an afternoon nap. She chose the latter, and the sound of the blender woke her up just in time to go back out for the sunset. She chose to sit, take in the views, and appreciate her time spent here today. However, she did not appreciate my help in cleaning the salt off her paws, but was quick to forgive and settled in for bed.